Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from the book of Romans, Romans chapter 8, verse 31, and I will read it. It says, what then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Think about that. Yes, what things? What things? They could say all the things that we read about in chapter 8 here. Everything that we read about is good to those that believe that have put their trust and confidence in God. What things? The things especially, I think, that is given in verses 28 to 30. And what it says is for, uh, and we know that all things work together for good for those that love God and for those that are the call according to his purpose. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. Now listen at verse 30. Moreover, whom he predestined, these he also called. Whom he called, these he also justified. Whom he justified, these he's also glorified. This speaks to the absolute assurance uh, of the salvation of those who believe, those that are true believers. Now, I'm not just talking about people that go to church. I'm talking about people that go to church and that are born again, that go to church and that are true believers. They have given their life. They have repented of their sin. They have turned to God. They have put their trust, their confidence in, in, in the Lord Jesus Christ, accepted him as a personal Lord and Savior, and they know that they are saved. They know that the Holy Spirit dwells within them and the assurance is given so much so that in the eye in the mind and in the plan of God is as if we're already in his very presence for them for whom he predestined these he also called whom he called these he also justified whom he justified these he's also glorified glorified he sees us complete our salvation is sure and if God is for us, then who can be against us? It is a rhetorical question. Paul invites the, the hearer uh, to, to, to participate in the argument. And, and the only response really is silence because there's no, no one can be against you if God is for you. I mean, they have to be what? Greater than God, but they're not. So we can be absolutely sure that our salvation is secure in Christ Jesus, our Lord. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse, that it would be a word of encouragement to you as you go throughout your day today. I pray that you have a safe day and then tune in again tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> as we consider today's verse. Amen.